Hey everybody, this is Tina with 85th House Vibrations with your daily reading for October 18th, 2016. I have been away for a moment, but now I am trying to ease back into the game. I've had some creative blocks, you know, things of that nature, and sometimes I have to step away in order to see things clearly again. So I'm feeling as if um, maybe the light is shining down on me again and I'm able to see things again. So uh, here's hoping for the best. What we have today is the Page of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. For some of you, I am feeling like Today you may get some news in regards to um, your long-term financial stability. I feel like this is news that some of you have been waiting on and um, in the interim it has probably caused you some mental and emotional strain, distress, or restlessness. I feel like that news comes through for you today. For some of you, I think this may be around 401ks, retirement plans, um, things of that nature. You are looking towards your financial future and wondering how that was going to pan out for you. And as I said before, I think those thoughts may have had some of you feeling a little bit uh, mentally distressed. And I think that the news that you've been waiting for comes through today and um, you're able to get a clear understanding as to what your financial future looks like and what you may or may not need to do in order to um, make that work for you. For others, I am feeling like, like myself, you may have had some mental blocks uh, some things that may have caused you, caused you some anxiety and frustration, some emotional strain, some emotional restlessness. Uh, because you know that with these blocks, with this stunted mental activity, that it has been taken away from you securing your own financial future. Uh, for you securing your own set of steady resources. And today, I feel like that maybe some of that um, anxiety or mental and emotional restlessness comes to an end. And like myself, you try to get back into the swing of things. So, you know, here's good luck to that because I know how it feels to be blocked and unable to do what it is that you normally do. The things that make you feel secure, even if it's not in a financial matter. It's just the things that make you feel like you're on top of your game. And I feel like for those of you that have been having some troubles, that maybe today is the day that things start to turn around for you. And you can start to dot your I's and cross your T's and then you can step back and see uh, the work that you've done. You can kind of admire the work that you're going to do again and the work that you're going to put into whatever it is that you do that makes you feel secure, that makes you feel good. With that being said, I want to go ahead and do the numbers. Uh, the pages, uh, the court cards, of course, don't carry a number association. So we have the seven of pentacles and we have the four of swords. Seven and four is 11. And, you know, 11 is one of my favorite numbers. It's that passageway, that doorway, that portal that gets you from one place to another. It's crossing from one dimension to the next. It's going from one situation to the next, from one state of mind, from one physical place. Any place that you can cross from one to the next, the 11 is the doorway. It's the passageway for that. I love that number. It always shows that there are new things coming. You're headed in new directions. You're going somewhere else, somewhere other than where you've been. And that's always going to bring pretty, um, it's going to bring about uh, successful results. 
in this case. Not always. I shouldn't say always, because sometimes we cross over into places that we'd rather not be. But in this case, with the 11, I feel like it is definitely going to take you into a place that is going to work for you. A place that's going to make you feel better about what you are about to do. If you'd like a personal reading, please feel free to send an email to tina at 85thhousevibrations.net. And I hope to see you guys again tomorrow.